This is an illustration of program number two for CS 107, programming course at UIC, and this is the fall 2010 semester. This is the toothpick puzzle where you have three piles of toothpicks and you have to create uh, three piles of eight toothpicks each. So th here what we see is the Eclipse window, which is our Integrated Development Environment IDE. So within Eclipse, if we've written our code, which is all the code that's right here, once it's written, we go and run the program and this shows what the program looks like when it's running. So here in the console window in this section is what we see that the program looks like. So first of all, it displays this information, the instructions and so forth up here at the top, so you can take a look at those displays the values in each stack, so your program really needs to have just uh, at least three variables, uh, one variable representing the number of toothpicks in each stack, and you use those variables to print out these values right here. And then I type in the stack I'm entering from, and we're not doing any error checking right now, so here I'll just type in capital A, which is the stack I'm moving from, and let's say capital B, which is the stack I'm moving to, which is going to move seven from A to B. So there we go, we moved seven from A to B. So that was move number one, now I'm at move number two. So I get the second move of the three moves, and I say, let's say I'm moving from, uh, let's say, C, hit enter, and then I'm moving to A. And so now I have eight in A, so it looks like I'm making great progress. And now my third and final move, moving from, let's say, B to stack C. Oh, sadly, I did not succeed, so I have to try again. So that's the end of the program. So then I can run the program again. So run the program again. Again, it displays all the information up here and gives me the chance to start over. So this time, let's say I decide to go from A to stack C. All right, and then I decide to go from stack B to stack A. And sadly, it looks like I am not going to win this time. I could go from C to B, and no, I do not have eight in each stack, so I would have to try the program again. So I just ran the program twice, so I hope that you can see then what your program is supposed to look like when it runs. Each of these things are what you type in, and then your program responds and types in the new information with the value in each stack as you go, and then at the end it looks at the values. If there's eight in each stack, then you win and you're great, otherwise it says, nope, sorry, that's not it, try again. Enjoy.